All right, let's go. Yo, yo. Huh. Huh. I'm killing the flow, it's no task, bro. I'm breathing like I got the asthma. I'm all up on TV, the plasma. My flow is hotter than magma. I hop on the beat and I beat it up. And for real, I cannot be defeated, y'all. I'm counting the chicken, I eat it up. Give it all to my dogs, my feet up. And I need a cup of that purple. Cause I'm moving way to that herbal. Now this nerd got straps like Urkel. Got rounds for everybody in circle. Back off or I blast off. Ten racks, I'ma do my mask off. You rap fraud, you ass off, it's still barking. Cat dog, think that's all, I'm rhyming more. Back snap, broke spinal cord. Check the shot clock, time score. March Madness, final four. Time the war be a worse desire. Cave man, first to fire, you're a and hit every person by it to the ambulance that first reply. I'm gone. Hey. Hey, 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 hey y'all. Hey. I saw you jugging, so I'm jugging it more. I saw him looking, told him look at the flow. The police try to throw the book at me, bro. I rip the paper out the book and I go. Baby Tommy, tummy poking, I'm rolling. Big and chubby like my brother Samo. And better chunk of fuck now she moaning. If I ain't hit, I'ma hit in the morning. I was ugly till I wasn't no more. Yeah, she want me, but she wanted me more. Got my girl, cause she walked in my car. Do it, she don't want them, she want them tomorrow. Yeah, you want it, but I wanted it more. I got money, I don't want it no more. Brother talk what they done done with some sorrow. If they ain't done it, they done it. They wrote up on us like they wanted to smoke And showed us love until there wasn't no more Hatred came and cut us don't like a goat I go hand this how I know I'm a boat I had cushion, I was fresh with the boat Yada yada, y'all dimensional scope Blast of travel, plant your planet for hope Esther to wrestle, you selling you dope Two brothers living, but we living some more Cause brothers living till there isn't no more Bullets making metamorphosis Body bag of plastic chrysalis, you do the worm Baby mama, she a sorceress Had to hack him in the ribbon so he won't return We used to let him, we don't let him no more Niggas kept checking, so we checking him up I'ma slow it down, I'ma take my time I'ma switch the flow like I like I'm on my grind I'ma do the things that I wanna do tonight And everybody wanna come battle Well we can fight so we can mix and we can rattle You can come and get the saddle If you tryna get the straddle Boy you, you can skedaddle So you don't wanna battle, you don't wanna fight me You not like me, you be tryna make movies You spike me, you think that you a rapper You look more like an actor So you versus me is no dominant denomination You not a fact my sword, I stu- uh, my fault, I stuttered again, I got it backwards, my words getting twisted, they getting blitzed and they getting claustrophobic, they just sitting here, cause none of this is written, so I'm just spitting, it's all off the top, see when I finish, I'ma hold the mic, not gonna let it drop. What? Hood, and this and this is the vibe at Temple. And I'm Giovanni Vasquez, your co-host. Yes, we're back at it again with an amazing third season of the vibe. Let's get right into it. Topics. On this edition of Pop and Topics, we've got two new panelists in the studio with us tonight. Bria Gallette, a Temple mm-hmm. University junior, double majoring in public relations and media production, a Philadelphia native that is the oldest of seven children. Temple University's chapter of the Progressive President, premier hip hop radio host, and alongside Chris Noai Smith, a Temple Fox Business School alum who is an American record producer, songwriter, and entrepreneur from right here in Philly. So let's get right into it. The way we consume media has drastically evolved over the years. Music has gone from tangible to digital, with streaming sites like Tidal and Apple Music becoming more popular. So how do you both think music streaming has influenced the way artists are making profit? Bria, we'll start with you. 
Um, I feel like music streaming has allowed us to personally connect with artists more. Um, I know with me, at first I wasn't interested in downloading Tidal, but when I downloaded Tidal, I personally was able to connect with certain playlists, certain artists, learn about new artists, and they had independent artists in there that I could learn more about. And then also too, if I wanna find and seek other artists out, I can find that through playlists, like they'll have certain playlists like if you want a Gucci Mane type vibe and all people that might follow in that camp. So it's a way to kind of personally connect with artists and other artists and independent artists. Also too, the streaming has also led to um, where those certain parties that might be um, getting thrown, you have to actually access it through Tidal. So that's one thing that Jay-Z had introduced. Well, your question was regarding like revenue, right? Yeah, correct. So, I mean, in the old days, like people would just, if you could, sing or rap and someone just heard you mm -hmm. then you know that's your record deal but now with technology and social media and Spotify and everything like that mm -hmm. it's easier but also harder to get a record deal mm -hmm. it's easier because I mean you don't really need a record label you can just you know make a song in your bathroom and stuff like that but in terms of making revenue it's a little easier because if, if you have the work I think you can just go out there and do it but it's harder because it's oversaturated. Everybody raps, millions of people rap, people's grandma raps and everything like mm -hmm. that. So it's a gift and a curse, but it's still lucrative. Mm -hmm. Okay. So with music becoming more digital, you think it's easier for people to kind of cop music for free? And it's, how is that affecting it? It's definitely more easier because I feel like with um, Apple Music, mm -hmm. you have, it's digitalized, so it's 30 million songs that mm -hmm. you have access to for, I know me, I have the student account, so it's, Four ninety nine, something mm -hmm. around that. So it's four ninety nine. I get access to all different types of music, all different type of playlists, um, and I feel like it's different because with iTunes, that's purchasing power. So um, whereas though it's like if I don't feel like buying albums that are one ninety nine or ninety nine cent, I can go to Apple Music and just stream all types of music for free, without mm -hmm. that purchasing power. No, oh, true, true, true. And also with Tidal, now they have like visual albums, so mm -hmm. you could watch as you're listening. Like, how do you guys think that is changing the game? With today's day and age with technology, it's always good. Like more, every, the consumer just want content. Mm -hmm. Before you can just like, you know, put your album out or your CD out and do, it and do a video later. But now it's just content. I want to see you post on Instagram three, four times a day. So if you make a song, I want to see the visual. I want to see the, the visual album, so that's that's where the, everything is going. So if you can just keep pushing out more content, more content, more content, the consumer's happy, they're more attached to the artists, and that's more revenue for you and the label. Okay, so. good stuff, mm -hmm. good stuff. So both panelists are making some really great points so far, but this conversation is far from over. We'll be right back with Poppin' Topics, but for now, let's check out our girl Heidi as she spotlights Hip Hop Fundamentals. Welcome back, y'all. It's the season three premiere of The Vibe, and we are giving you the inside scoop of Hip Hop Fundamentals. It's a team of Philly B-Boys who decided to come together and spread the true hip hop love. All right, let's go check them out. So Hip Hop Fundamentals started uh, originally with me and Steve Believe. Uh, Steve Believe and I go way back. I've known him for like 16 years now. We both started breaking together in Philly. We had a battle crew, Rep Styles, that would go do competitions. We were trying to do some industry work. But then about five years ago, uh, we'd already been kind of like teaching classes in community centers and we really liked hip hop education. So we decided to make our own hip hop education company that was focusing on like doing school assemblies. And from there, it branched out into hiring uh, some other young dancers that we were training at the time. Uh, getting involved here with Move Makers, which is now like kind of our second home in terms of teaching out of Philly. Our programming here is significant. We're doing good things for both kids and youth, uh, for youth and adults. And so uh, expanding the reach is really important. Finding the people who identify with the work that we do here and um, working hard to make sure that we're able to provide for them. Everybody in Philly dances from like Older folks to the littlest kids, everybody just naturally has this rhythm and this dance. She gets a chance to express herself, and it's really important for them to find their passion at a young age. And um, 
It's not just a place for dance. It's ideology. It's uh, it's family. It's fun. Um, it's community. I think this organization is important because it helps kids learn a style that was created a while ago, and it helps kids just become <coughs> generally like moving and. We're kind of getting into this newer, more cutting edge type of education now, which they're calling arts integrated education, which is when you learn breaking and academic content at the same time. So like I would go and work with a physics teacher and we would teach uh, molecular states of matter through breaking. We're a school, so um, you know, growth and development is central and key to that. So when I take notice of our teachers, presenting information in a thorough way and the students responding and reacting to it in a way that shows that they that it's impacted them they've latched on they're processing it and when I see that happening it's it's important to me and I'm quite pleased because it means we're doing the right thing that's Philly Hip Hop Fundamentals for you until next time I'm Pete Weaver and I'm giving you the vibe at Temple Welcome back to Pop and Topics. So, not only are music streaming services changing the game, but so are the artists themselves. With artists like Chance the Rapper, No Name, and Frank Ocean going independent, how is music evolving? Do you need a record label to be successful? Chris, we'll start with you. Um, I would say that you don't need a record label per se, mm -hmm. but there's still some behind the scene uh, business moves that people that need to understand. A lot of people, they get caught up in music and they kind of forget the, mu the business part of the music business. Mm -hmm. So while Chance the Rapper, he's independent, there's a machine behind him. It may not be you know, one of the big three, Universal, Sony, or Warner Music Group, but there's a machine behind him that allows him to be uh, that independent monster. And if you can, whether you get that machine behind you or just get a bunch of friends, like Odd Future and Frank Ocean, get a bunch of friends to kind of be that machine, that's all you really need now with technology, yeah. for sure. Um, can you repeat the question again? Do you think you need a record label to be successful with so many artists going independent? Um, I feel like all a record label does is if you don't have the specific clout, um, it helps amplify your effect. So it helps kind of get you, it's kind of like a pilot. It helps mm -hmm. get you out there more. So I feel like sometimes for a person that probably needs that push or needs a certain platform to allow them to get their music out more, I feel like some people do need that. But um, people like Chance and Frank Ocean, art speaks for itself. Mm -hmm. So no matter what type of artist you are, if you're good and you're great at what you do, it's always going to sell, it's always going to get up there. But some people need a little, you know, a push. So a record label might be in their favor. So yeah. And if I can add also, it also depends on what type of artist you want to be. Mm -hmm. um, I remember last summer I met with um, Jim Rappo. He's one of the, the top marketers at Republic Records. Mm -hmm. So they have Ariana Grande, The Weeknd, and The Weeknd was independent years before they signed him. Mm -hmm. um, he was a large independent artist. Like he, I mean, in the country, a lot of people in America knew him, and he had a global mar uh, global market. But if you notice how The Weeknd changed from when he first came out with that mm -hmm. that trilogy to now, he's like a pop star. He's kind of like a mm -hmm. Michael Jackson, if you will. Mm -hmm. So it all depends. The record label can kind of direct you into an, an more heightened uh, avenues. It depends on what type of artist you can be and the potential for that. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, going off what you said, like with image, I feel like independent artists, they have more say in, and I guess being themselves and being creative and having more creative power. Right. Mm -hmm. Do you think that record labels kind of hold restrictions on that? So in record labels, um, you can have a contract where so they handle everything as far as promotion wise, but as long as you stay in the contract that you need to have creative control over all your music, then mm -hmm. that should be fine. But mm -hmm. a lot of artists don't know that and they don't put that out there. So mm -hmm. that's when their branding and the way their images starts to shift. Mm -hmm. And it also comes with the more name that you built independently. Yeah. If you're, you know, rapper A and you have 200 followers and you know someone who works at this record label and you somehow get a record deal, you're not going to have as much as the freedom or creative freedom as per someone who has 
maybe 10, 20,000 followers and they got a, a solid following, now you can go to the label and say, yeah, we can collaborate, yeah. but I want this and I want that, or else I'm gonna go here. Because if you have 20,000 followers or whatever, there's other labels that are checking for you. So you okay. have more power to dictate the type of deal that you'll have. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. yeah. so like if you are an independent artist, how do you get that clout to get attention from record labels if maybe you want to get signed somewhere along the line? Because I feel like that's a huge risk to take, just kind of going into the industry independent and not having that support behind you. Um, I mean, if you're independent, it all it, it you just need that back. And whether it's, it's a lot of work behind the scenes, mm -hmm. whether you have a photographer and some investors and stuff like that, mm -hmm. the label is essentially the investor. So. It's, it's a lot of sacrifice if you want to have the creative freedom that you want later down the line, mm -hmm. or if you kind of just want that uh, initial backing, then, you know, just go straight to the label. Yeah. It's all about what you really want to be, really. All right, cool. Um, any thoughts? Nah, I agree with everything he says. <laughs> all right, cool. Um, yeah. All right. Okay, so today's conversation was really dope. Both panelists had some really great things to say, but the conversation does not end here. Make sure you're keeping up with us at The Vibe TUTV using the hashtag Changing the Game. Next up is the rap battle. You don't want to miss it, but for now, stay tuned to find out how Philly has impacted the, the hip-hop scene in today's edition of Hip Hop History. Don't go anywhere. What's up, guys? It's Gabby. And I'm Jason. And this is Hip Hop History with the Vibe at Temple. Today we'll be discussing the history of hip hop in Philadelphia. Being a neighboring city to New York during rap's early beginnings, Philly had a major influence on the genre's popularity across the country in the 80s and is still influential to this day. Rapper Schooly D is considered by many as the original creator of gangster rap for his hit song in 1985, PSK, What Does It Mean? The song influenced major West Coast rap figures like Ice-T, who made groundbreaking rap jam 6 in the morning, and NWA's Boys in the Hood, which launched their career. Hip-hop duo The Fresh Prince and DJ Jazzy Jeff helped bring rap to the mainstream with top hits Parents Just Don't Understand in 1989 and Summertime in 1991, both receiving Grammys. Will Smith went on to sign with NBC for his widely known sitcom, The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. With the success of the show, Smith became widely popular in music and film and started his solo career in 1997 with Big Willie Style, which was certified nine times platinum by the RIAA. The three-time Grammy-winning rap group, The Roots, rose to fame with the success of their album, Do You Want More, along with the Grammy-winning song, I Got You. Their unique blend of hip-hop and acoustic instruments made them pioneers in live rap performances. The Roots are now the house band on The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon and host an annual live festival called The Roots Picnic right here in Philly. Hip-hop in Philadelphia has come a long way allowing new artists like Lil Uzi Vert and Meek Mill to rise to fame. Lil Uzi Vert started blowing up when he was featured on Carnage's What Do You Want and Migos' Bad and Bougie. His latest mixtape, Love Is Rage 1.5, featured his massive hit single, Exo Torle, which is now certified triple platinum. He recently dropped his first album, Love Is Rage 2, debuting at number one on the Billboard Top 200. Meek Mill, who has been rapping since 2003, has since been signed to Rick Ross's label, Maybach Music Group. He was featured in the 2011 Freshman XXL class and went on to create his own record label, Dream Chasers, along with an album debut at number two on the Billboard Top 200. With these two artists and more on the come up, Philly has made its mark in hip hop and is not going anywhere anytime soon. I'm Gabby. And I'm Jason. And this has been Hip Hop History. And we're, and we're giving, giving you the vibe, vibe at Temple. And we are back with the season three edition of the Rap Battle. Now, we've got new rappers, new beats, and many more. But today, we have two talented rappers in studio with us tonight. Now, we've got Eli Capella from Philadelphia on my left. And on my right, we got your highness from the bottom of the swim. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Get some, get some excitement. And for the first time ever, we have three battle rap veterans returning to the show. But this time, they're going to be our judges for tonight. And we got these judges to help us choose the winner. But for now, you gentlemen ready? Because we're going to get ready to battle. Eli Capella, you up first. Okay. Lay it down. One, two, check. One, two. I said, uh, 
When I'm on the microphone, I'm always known to let loose. I'm not a freight swim, I'm not the type of boy you step to. You the type of boy that hit the stage and the crowd forgets you. I treat you like a Nike's homie. When you slide, I check you. He like a pellet be spitting on the microphones. I get it. You know, whenever I rip it, you something like a kitten. Cause I be the big dog. I never do flaws. Whenever I'm spitting over it, it's on these microphones, you know that I'm a set of dough. Just like Jay the Pickett, this my cheese and this nachos. When Whenever I kick it, you know I got a lot of rhymes. I'm hot, so you know I gotta kick it from the muscle. Just like my man, his name is Johnny Bravo. With the head, he on the hustle. Said I from PHI215, that's what I resolve. Like my man shirt, you could run swim, but you can't hide. Whenever we kick it, you know whenever I just prove it. The reason why you rocking these slides, cause you can't fit my shoes in. I continue wearing, I always hit it embarrassed. Whenever I'm spitting this magic swim, you disappearing. And I'm balling on the court just like NBA. I see no point at all battling you, NPA. Just like on this hoodie, they can't overlook me. I'm too hot. That's not no paint on your head. That's a lyrical headshot from this Glock that I be busting like a dollar and God I'm trusting. Whenever we'll eat like a pella battling, it's no discussion because I'm repping a nine. They call you the school of hard knocks. He lied because they call the young and Columbine. Bottom line, whenever I'm spitting, they just hit rewind. Oh man. This type of flow, I best believe you never swim, swim, swim. So I could continue ripping on microphones, I'm killing. The reason why I do it is because I'm just too consistent. Alright. I didn't I, I did not see the Johnny Bravo comment coming. That, that was new. That was new. But now. Yeah, you ready to bring it back? You better come hard, because he's he attacking everybody. Judges, me, it's, it's everybody's open season. Yo, Shay, this thing wild. Uh. Yo, check. Say I'm so fly like a trip. And I got the swim to make the whole world drip. Turn your whole world around, flip you upside down. Say, turn your whole world around and turn that nine to a six. I'm so fly with the trip. I'm back, back in the booth. I'll never lose. You can never step to me. I'm checking you like my Nike slides. I'm fly, fly, fly away. Tell them that I take a trip. Tell them bye, bye away. Bye, bye, birdie. Cause you ain't worthy of this rap game I be too hot, I be spitting like a rap game Hold up, wait, you wanna beat me? Get my fame, take it back THL, you ain't saying nothing Hold up, tell him, tell him, take a trip I'm bloody, make your blood drip Like the swim drip Take the, take the blue off You ain't no crip You ain't really like me You just wanna be this You just wanna be cool and easy I see you bobbing, but you can't Dance, so stop trying, really stop trying. You ain't got it like that. Your shoes don't match. Just like this game, you don't match. You can't compete with me. I do this easily. I'm spitting heat off the top. You want to ride with me, but you ain't really driving. No license, still lying. What? You still lying. You say I'm hot, but I'm a fry. You like a frying pan. Man, God swam. I got the swim, swim, swim. Burning, burning, man. I'm all up in the furnace. I just hopped about the furnace. Keep on working, tell them that you ain't working, then you worthless. Why you on this earth? Then what's your purpose? Find your purpose, learn it quick and own it. Then get to working. I be working, surfing in the swim, 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 hurting, fire burning, fire breathing like a dragon. Uh, cooked you, balling like mad and swam. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Now that is the end of round one. Now tonight's judges are new to the judges panel, but they are no strangers to the rap battle scene. All are reigning vibe battle champions. So first up, we got season two finale winner, Samaj in the middle. We got season two winner with us, also a season two winner with us. Oh, right there, my man. And we got three time winner of the second season of this show, Imperial. Now, uh, to start off opinions, we're gonna just, you know, go left to right. So, Imperial, start it off. Hi, my man swam over here. He was swamming on that beat. Like, he was riding it. I loved his flow that he brought to it, but 
I feel like Eli brought a more personal and more lyrical uh, attack to it with the freestyles on the slides and the outfit. And it was hard to edge it, but I just barely edge it to Eli personally. Okay. All right. Uh, Samaj? Yeah, y'all both had a nice, a nice little round on y'all. I feel like yours kind of picked up like halfway through. You started feeling the vibe more. And I feel like it was like kind of because that beat had a long intro. So it was like kind of hard to gauge it. But once he was on, you was on. Yeah. But I feel like I still do got to give it to Eli because he was on from the rip. Like once that beat started and he started talking, as he stopped checking his mic, <laughs> he started <laughs> spitting them bars. And I liked your energy the whole time. All right. And uh, oh, last thing. All right, I got to get this to Eli. Eli, you had like seven headshots and then four bars that was just hot that wasn't direct headshots. And you had like four or five headshots and then seven bars that was hot that wasn't headshots. So like, uh, yeah, I got to go with Eli for this one. All right, all right. Now, we're going to just jump straight into round two. No, uh, no breaks at all. And we're going to let you take the first round this time, all right? You handle it? All right, my man. Set it off. I feel so tight. Now, where's your energy? Yeah. I said I'm swimming through these waves. Hold up, wait, pause. Hold up, wait. Tell them get the gauge. I be driving like a race. Hold up, wait. Don't make me come at your neck. I'm the best. Take your bandana off. Yo, cut ain't really fresh. But I ain't got too much to talk because I'm wolfing. Yeah, I'm wolfing. I'm the wolf and I come cooking like a swim. Got you booking, booking, running. Keep on running because you can't catch me. I'm too best and I'm fresh. See, I'm the best. Yo, check it. Your watch don't bling, your wrist don't ring, your girl don't sing. Sorry, sorry, but I'm awfully Harley coming at you like Harley. But I keep these bars coming like I'm coming off the car seat. Oh, I'm a kid, I'm a big kid. The crowd go wild. I got the style to swim the juice to make you stop for miles. I got the drip, the drip too. You wish you could be fly like this, but you can't be me. Look me in my eye like this. I ride the waves, got the swim popping. I get fly for days. Want to be this fly? You couldn't be this fly for weeks. Peep the streets. I be swimming in the booth. You want to see this? Hold up, wait, pause. This the remix. I get this swim. Not bad, my man, not bad. Strong second entry. All right, Eli Capella, it's your turn now for round two. You ready? All right, let's get it poppin'. Swim, please do not approach us. Swim really stand for super wack and mediocre. So please, I told you, you better chill. I'm not a hater. I could rap about you and it's creative, you be your player. Whenever I got the flavor, now or later, when you run it, you thinking that you stunting, but on the real, you just be fronting now. Let me catch the beat. I'm not a fitted, I snap back. I send you like a million times, so why you rocking the dad cap? That don't make sense. You need to take it off probably, but don't. Cause when you do, you look like a generic Bill Cosby. So I don't even understand. Eli Capella burning hot. You better get your pudding pop. Whenever I'm on the boat, just pop a dock. Back to the boom docks because I'm something like a cellular. Use a failure from Illadel. And it ain't hard to tell you that. When it comes to the young who never friend everything in what it seems, you better get some skinnies. Cause you don't really got my type of jeans because I got a different denim. I I'm a soldier, army fatigue. He talking about the way my girls sing. My homie, can you breathe? Because I'm flowing and going and never be slowing. He like a pella, be flowing in full motion. And I'ma let go. But for the last thing, I'ma let my girl hit her for a shuttle. Yo, I gotta, I gotta walk out here with a bulletproof vest on. I'm not safe. I'm really, I'm not. All right. Oh, <laughs> nah. <laughs> All right. So let's throw it to our judges for a second opinion. Uh, this time we're gonna start with Ohm for round two. Yo, what you call it? Look. <laughs> All right, that was crazy. That was live. Definitely giving this to Eli. You got problems. That was great. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, I would.
would definitely get this to Eli too. I like that you countered his attacks. Your attacks were much better the second round though. You came at him from the start this time. You was coming at what he was wearing. You came at his girl. You was disrespectful. I like that. I like disrespect. But you was ready for it and you handled it. And you you a real one for keeping him up on that. Cause you you was ready. You was you was ready for that. <laughs> Uh, I also have to give it to Eli. His rebuttals are fantastic, and as a battler myself, like I always value if you're smart enough to come off the top and respond to something uh, that the opponent said, and the moment he created with bringing her in, and that was just amazing. It rocked the room, and I gotta give it to you. All right. All right. You did great. I got my eye on you, though, but you did great. Uh, the final round is coming up where our audience will choose the winner, so don't go anywhere. Now check out our correspondent, Kenny Cooper, who met up with DJ and producer Dilemma. Hi everyone, I'm Kenny Cooper for The Vibe at Temple. We're here at Milk Boy Studios to interview DJ and producer Dilemma. So let's get started. I'm a soundscaper um, when I work with artists in a studio and try to make sure that their, their vision is coming to life through sound. This city, the way that it influenced me, um, coming from Jersey and um, impacting me is uh, just, you know, this the root in how rich the music scene here is, um, from Gamble and Huff to the Neo Soul uh, wave. Um, I was across the bridge just taking that all in and just reading about and just waiting and wondering who these people were. Um, and then after school and when I started to uh, produce and I got to actually meet these people and just go through the whole history of just this area. I mean, you come to Philly and not only just soul music, it was jazz. Like I'm a big jazz head. So coming across and just knowing like John Coltrane is from here. Like, are you serious? I play the saxophone. So it was just all of these things that just made Philly so exciting um, that once you got here, you wanted to create in Philadelphia because of the history and how deep music is in Philly. Why did I start to DJ after producing? I think it was just the next step for me. I think it was always in me. I was hosting clubs, um, I was hosting parties. I just was never the one controlling the music. I was making the music and always asking DJs to play my music. And then after that frustration of just like going into parties and never hearing my song played and I'm there for four hours, I'm like, you know what? I quit. I'ma just be the, I'ma be the DJ and I'ma just play my stuff. I want to make music forever, <laughs> really. I really, um, I want to make music forever. I want to be able to inspire those around me to continue to create and continue to create arts and just the arts in general and how it impacts um, just how we are as humans and how we think and how we interact with each other and just push those things. Um, um, I want to travel, I want to be on, I want to be at Coachella. I want to be, you know, the touring producer DJ. Um, like I see so many of the people that inspire me. So that's where I see myself. For advice, I would say um, continue to focus, focus on what you want to get out of it and what you can add to it. It's always better to help everybody around you than to help yourself. We had a great time talking to the Luma at Milk Boy, the studios. This has been Kenny Cooper for The Vibe at Temple. All right, all right, welcome back to the rap battle. It is the final round. We've got Eli Capella and we got Jay. Oh, I'm so sorry, my man. I'm gonna call you Swam, Swam, Swam. I like that way better. Um, all right, so Eli Capella, you are up first. You ready? Okay. Yo. Okay, I got you, I got you. Okay. Check it. 
You thought that you was gonna command me and then come out the same. I've been killing you so hard, the host can't even say your name. He like, swam, swam, swam. Oh man, I can't understand. He like a pellet spitting these lyrics the real ones comprehend. And the young and got the style, the ill adult y'all from the wild. You say that the judges won't choose, then I'm talking about the crowd. Yes, I be the leader. You get no stripes like Adidas on his shirt. She got the vans with the fly mama sheeters. And these lyrics ain't no scandal off of the top. I buy this mantle. You better switch with shorty cause she got some better sandals and the toenails dead. It is what it is. I'm worthy. You look like you work at the poppy store. Your socks is dirty. So can I get the two for a dollar? Please give me a holler. Food for thought like enchiladas. And you really better call your mama cause I just sent you. Luke, I be your father. So you better chill cause I'm way too common. Eat like a pallet. Ain't nobody better. I'm like toast intolerant. I get the chatter. So you better chill cause my mind is a weapon. Busting lyrical berettas. Young flight in propellers. I can't hear the beat but it's all good cause I'm better. Now it ain't so hard to tell you that you better chill Cause I'm from the boombox Like I'm dressed, I got the game locked So you better chill cause I'm way too hot And I'm about to create another raid dot Oh, my bad, that swim subs You married to the game, do you better divorce? See like a pellet too nice I'm dreaming, I look through Van Jars I mean Martin Luther King, I'm the king inside the ring You better chill cause I do my thing Please get a people with that 90s flow You better take a marker like his sneakers And just paint up some better flows He like Capella, nice and impeccable And respectable My lyrics is susceptible to be the greatest of all time whenever I spit it you can hate but still you gotta hit play and then rewind because I'm way too nice when I'm on the microphone, he like a pellet, better phone home, cause I be the king forever. Unlike your brother, because I be on the throne, and I be ripping and killing these balls. Going so far, going so hard like a school porn star swim. I gotta say, you too soft to be stepping in this jungle. My life in my hands, I won't fumble. But in this walk of life, I never stumble. But I still just keep it humble, so you better chill. Please don't mumble and get your freestyles right, cause I kick it like Kid Cudi, and that's day and night. I must say, for the beginning of the third season, I've never been so insulted throughout the entirety of the show except for this one man here. Congratulations on that. I respect that. Respect that. Respect. It's all love. All right. Now, you ready for round two? I'm telling you, my man, I believe in you. You can do this. Just destroy him. You've been messing with me and you and your sandals, bro. Destroy him. Yo. He. Speak. Don't come for the swim or it's gonna get deep. I feel like you was right. You is my father. You putting me to sleep. I'm about to swim, swim, swim like a swim, swim sheet. Hold up, wait. Hold up, wait. Back up, back up. You a creep. I don't like your face. I don't like the way you talk. Back up, wait. Talking all that crap. You ain't saying nothing but a thing. All that talk you talking, all that walk you walking. Hey yo, your heart is heartless and I see right through. You like glass, you like beating like Beetlejuice. I treat you like food and I eat you like you need a new. You need a new rhyme, you need a new style, you need a new flow, you need a whole new life. You hold up, wait, I'm about to change the game, I'm about to change it. Keep on playing games. I see you had your little thing with your girl, she was singing. But who are you? Turn around, you are really nameless like the back of your your jersey don't come for me i go crazy on the beat they call me swim better get it right i be in the swim all day and night come for me taking all these shots but you don't make no hits your song suck stop trying come for me before i get my own swim and we tough and we gotta run i don't care what i say because i'm just still having fun and i do this like i do this music and yo it's truthless you be spitting all that spit but i don't spit because i'm toothless wait hold up wait pause wait pause hold up hey y'all they got them bobbing swam all over the place y'all i don't need to come at you because i know how to flow come at me this a battle you don't really want to go there i be in the swam with the swam oh er hey Hey y'all, wait, hold up, pause. Hey, yeah. <laughs> swam, swam, swam. Yeah, I can still be hot and I ain't gotta battle you. That's why you know I don't care what you say to me. You keep talking, talk, but you don't really want to play with me. I play with heat like bang, bang, bang. Swam, swam, swam. Blam, blam, blam. All over the place. You talking now, now. Look, I, I killed him. All right, that was a great final round. Let's throw it to our judges for one final opinion from each one. Imperial, first. 
I think, uh, Disciple, this was your best round. You were starting to feel yourself, starting to confident. You started uh, using the swam to your advantage, and I really like that. You embraced the swam, and it opened the swam in all of us. But I think my man Eli just had the complete package, man. He had the freestyles. He had, he had special moments for flow, judges, audience members. I couldn't even keep up. It was amazing. Yeah, I feel like this is definitely your best round so far. I feel like you got more confident throughout your, throughout the three rounds, definitely. So if you could, like, for the next one, if you start where you ended, it would have been crazy to see what you could have did by the third round. But for now, I got to give it to Eli, because you came from the first round, second round, third round, spitting heat, spitting fire, energetic. You was just up there, bro. I bang with that. All right, and uh, Om, final opinion? Yo, that final round was like a perfect rap battle round. Like, that shit was perfect. Swam. Your Highness, I think you way funnier than Eli, honestly. Like, this specific shit, but this nigga was cutting your head off. It was all head cutting. It was crazy. So, like, I want to see you battle more. I never want to see you battle again. I'm giving it to Eli. <laughs> it's too good. All right? You guys good? All right. So now, wait, wait, don't you leave. Don't you leave. We're going to let our audience determine the winner, and we're going to start the voting off. So, I want to hear some noise if you want Eli Capella to be the winner. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. All right. Now, let me hear some noise for Johannes. I think, I think we got a winner here. My man Eli Capella is the winner for tonight's rap battle. Wow, it's all love, no disrespect. All right, but uh, before both of you gentlemen go, uh, where can we catch uh, both of your music, you know, social media and all that? Um, pick up the mic real quick. Uh, first of all, make some noise for the host one time. It was all love. All love, bro, all love, all love. Uh, but you can follow me uh, at E-L-I-C-A-P-E-L-L-A-9. -E -L -L My album, Illa Dwellers, is out now, so catch it on Spotify, iTunes, SoundCloud, all that, yeah. All right, and uh, where can we find some of your stuff? Hey, you can catch me on the gram at Swim, Swim, Swim. You can catch me on the SoundCloud at Swim, Swim, Swim. You can catch me all over the place at Swim, Swim, Swim. All over the place. All right, in case, um, in case you forgot, that's three swams, right? That's three. Three swams. All right, now that's a wrap for our final rap battle. Uh, our, up next is going to be our poetry spotlight, and you don't want to miss it. Tonight's poet is an artist and singer-songwriter born and raised in Miami, Florida. She began writing in need, of, in need of an outlet at age 12, nurturing her passion for singing and writing, which led her to become a gold medalist in slam poetry and fine art for the NAACP National Competition in 2015. After graduating as an art magnet student in 2017, Christina committed to Temple University as a communication and social influence major with a minor in psychology. Currently, she is one of the newest members of Babel Poetry Collective, introducing Christina O. Oh. My mother's womb was a historic two-story home. One of mother, another of child. She said, in this house, you will be fed through tube because this is the only way that they will feed you out there of what is left of what they could not chew. She said, in this house, we will play dress up as if it was Halloween because out there we must look like them, sound like them, and that is the only way to get the sweets out of life even if it creates a terror. She said, you better save those tears and stop all that crying because when you get out there, they will give you something to cry about. Now as my mother began to swell and her insides rearranged, she said, change of plans. In this house, you will learn to tread water because out there you do not get to float to stay above. You must swim upstream against tide where they are holding your dreams in a clenched fist and this ain't no sign of freedom so don't you go believe in those white flags. She said, in this house, you will learn to put your name on everything, Christina, Ori, Stevens, because out there they will try to take credit for the labor of your hands. She said, in this house, you will learn to love your kink and your coil because out there they would force you and try to make you lie down. She said, in this house, you will learn to love and protect your culture because as soon as you step outside, they will begin to swarm like vultures. 
She said, learn to take what you need and you want without word. Because out there, they will try to make your tongue bow down and ask for permission as if you were standing in front of father. Please love your father, she said. Learn what is in a man, because out there they will try to arrive with armor on horse and hand and tell you that they are the only ones that can save you. She said, in this house, you will learn to never lose the pressure in your voice because out there they will tell you to pipe down because they are afraid that you will create diamonds and find wealth in your bones and ain't that something? She said, in this house, before you head out, learn everything. Learn everything because out there, as soon as you begin to ask questions, they will try to put you and the answer to sleep. And no one will be able to tuck you in but the ground. And ain't that something? She said, in this house, we will learn to smell roses because out there they will tell you that they don't belong to you until you receive your pine box. And ain't that something? Tempting about my own self. Hey, said there's something so tempting about my own self. Said there's something so tempting about my own self. Said there's something so tempting. Said there's something so tempting. So let me tell you about who I was. A little brown girl trying to figure who she is in a place with no love for the culture. Hey, but then it came the time she started to embrace the fro from her head and epiphany. Transition so smooth, I can't believe it's real. But it's all natural, baby. Don't. 
in a great season three premiere. Without a doubt, I'm very excited for what this season has in store. So as always, keep vibing with us and we'll see you next time. Woo! Yeah. Woo!